I play only relying on reflexes. Just like that. Where's the key? Okay. Just hold it, hold it. The Hello People is the biggest version of the internet. You just watched three of my highlights. Now I wanna ask you a question. What all those clips have in common? If your answer was flicks, you're correct. Today I'm gonna teach you the best possible aiming style. It takes hours and maybe even years to perfect it, but it's worth it. This video will include warm-up and practice routine for those of you who wanna master it, but before that you must listen a little bit of a theory. I guarantee that this theory is super useful and important and it will help you to perfect this aiming style. So make sure to watch the entire video and don't skip. Let's begin. Usain Bolt is fast. Lightning McQueen is very fast, and CSGO Fast is also... fast. <laughs> CSGO Fast is doing a giveaway of $60, all what you need to do is to copy last part of your referral link on their site and write it down in the comments. I will randomly choose 3 winners before releasing the next video. CSGO Fast. Faster than very fast. <laughs> I mentioned speed aiming in my what I learned from 10,000 hours of CSGO video, and I said there that accuracy of your aim should be improved by practicing speed. If you're paying attention to accuracy more than speed of your aim, you will not get as good result as if you would've placed speed on the first place. And the best example to that is gonna be this. Ask any of your parents, or even grandparents, to take a mouse and kill any bot on the practice map. They probably can do it, and it would just take way longer time than if you would try it yourself. In Aiming, you should prioritize practicing speed only because this is our biggest ally when it comes to having an advantage on your opponents. When you have an aim duel, it's all about who shoots first, especially on higher levels of competition, and speed helps us to shoot first. Now one more question for you, what's the fastest aiming move in CSGO? A flick, you're correct again, that's why by practicing flicks, you're practicing speed of your aim. Now listen very carefully, because this is important. Even in a pro scene, there are only a few people who use this aiming style, but their aim is on godlike level. Two best examples are Nico and Simple. Speed aiming is 100% based on your reflexes and reaction. Add some good movement, decent crosshair placement and grenade knowledge, and there you have a godlike player. But why only a few professional players use this aiming style? Because they have balls to do so, they have confidence, and they know that things that they practice, they practice for a reason, so don't expect that this aiming routine will make you a god tier aimer if you will not 100% believe in your reflexes. Understood? Great! Just wanna add that using this playstyle is basically like a superpower in CSGO, because just like in real life you can be not incredibly strong, well built, but if you're quick, it replaces your weakness. Also, speed aiming is not only based on rifling, you can easily flick with a nope, and you should do that. That's why this warm up and practice routine will include AWP. You have to Yango. sign a contract with your bank ID and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't, you can't have, you can't. I've left. Whoa. That's dirty. Yeah, that was that was very That's good. You should start your warm up with no shooting flicks. Do it for around 1 or 2 minutes and focus on such things as accuracy of your crosshair placement after the flick. So try your best to be 100% accurate on the bot's head. Do it as fast as you can. 
After that, do a spinning deagle flicks. Never heard of it? Well, I actually created this myself. Just look at the screen. What you see there is what I call a spinning deagle and it helps you to wake up your muscle memory. It also might help you to get an epilepsy, but it's okay. Just do 3 sets and 100 kills on each set. I also forgot to say that links to all the practice maps are gonna be in the description. After that, make 100 kills with a nope, switching left and right side after each shot. But don't switch the side before you kill the bot, so you flick to the left, for example, you kill a bot, it means that you need to flick to the right now. You flick to the right, you miss, it means that you need to flick to the right again. Now we switch to the map called Wiprack Bots and of course the link is in the description and the settings of the map you can see on your screen. All what we do here is practicing 360 degree aiming, as always try to do it as fast as possible and there is no time limit or kill limit. Just practice based on your feelings, you can do it for 30 minutes, hour or even more, the main thing is to do it consistently and not once a week. Now let me tell you how you can see that your aim speed improves. First of all, if you practice like that and you you don't see any improvements, pay attention to how shaky your aim is. If you're from time to time or even all of the time start to shake your crosshair, it means that you're on the right way. Let me give you an example on how shaky and epileptic your hands need to be after this practice. Imagine that you're a son of an Arabic sheikh and you're an inheritor of billions of dollars that your father has earned, but for some reason you feel like your sexuality might not be straight. So you leave your house and visit a gay party. The day after, you're about to enter your father's room and tell him everything, and this is how shaky your hands need to be after this practice. But anyways, if you didn't understand something about this practice, I will make a room in my discord with settings of all maps and write down all of the sets and reps for both warm up and practice. So the link to my discord is in the description, I would appreciate if you leave a like on this video, thanks for watching, virgin lord out.